welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium channel and um, intuitive. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I want to let you know is I will be taking callers live. Yes, I will. You can call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one up above. The number is 845-277-9131. And second, I go live twice a week. Two times a week. Two. That's two, folks. Two times a week. Every Monday at noon and Wednesday at 7. Both of those times are central. If you would like to join in, you can watch on YouTube. That is where I record my shows. And then they get dispersed to WSCS and Rude Rangers TV, who both put them on all of their stations, podcasts, um, mm, radio stations, the whole nine yards, the whole nine yards, all of the nine yards they get put on. Um, WSCS is really rocking it lately. I went on to um, their uh, online where they put their shows. And uh, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by the number of views I've been getting online on the WSCS um, YouTube station. That's what it's called. It's crazy good. <laughs> Freaking crazy good. Okay. Uh, please know I will never reach out to anybody. I will never comment. You need a reading on any social media thing. Please do not get scammed. If somebody reaches out to you and says, hey, this is Tony, you need a reading. First of all, no, I would never do that. Second, just call my business number, 414-897-2869. Um, I um, don't reach out to people. If you want a private reading, I, I do private readings. I um, do group readings. I do galleries. I just don't reach out to you. And in order for you to book a session, you must uh, reach out to me and you can go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot info, or um, call me 414-897-2869 and I'll be happy to uh, book that session for you. And the next thing is, there was a next thing and I just can't remember it. Okay, thank you everybody who's here on YouTube. I will be answering questions to for people on YouTube. I will be answering calls of people calling in. I'm going to try to be super efficient tonight because there are so many callers um, tonight. Thank you, I love you guys so much. The call-in number again is 845-277-9131. And uh, the first, we're going to do the names from those above uh, or here. So the names that I'm hearing are Roberto. Um, the next name that I'm hearing is um, Jennifer. The next name that I'm hearing is... Lena, L-A-I-N-A, -A, Lena. The next name I am hearing is Carlos. The next name I am hearing is, I think I had this name Monday because Monday, I was so proud of myself for being able to pronounce it, Guadalupe, which is not a great accomplishment, folks. The next name I'm hearing is um, Jethro. I apologize. Do not be offended by the way I said that. The next name I am hearing is Martha. The next name I am hearing is Annette and then Charlotte. The next name I am hearing is um, Vivian. Vivian? Vivi, v, uh, it's like a V-I-V-I -I and then Anne. Vivian. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Lu, 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 Luann. Luann, we're going to go with Luann, Robert and Richard, Jack, and then the, the next name that I'm, and I'm only going to do two more names because they are coming at me, folks. They are just pew, 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 pew with their names tonight. Jeez Louise. Um, the next name I am hearing is um, oh, Brian. 
And then the next name I am hearing is J Jerome. Jerome. Okay, now we're going to go into songs. Now those names, that could have been your name, that could have been their name, but that's a confirmation that someone, it's, it's just, it's just a confirmation. And the songs, first of all, you guys, I heard my new all-time favorite song today. And I'm going to tell you, it shocked me. So I was, um, I just, I was driving in my car. Da -na -na -na, na -na -na -na. Turned up the radio. Ba -na -na -na, na -na -na -na. And this song came on and I couldn't listen to the whole thing because I had to get out of the car and come in. And the song was Jaded by Miley Cyrus, but I, I really enjoyed it. So I came in and listened to it. And I really like that song. And let me tell you, I am not a big Miley Cyrus fan. I have not been a big Miley Cyrus fan until today. Today, she flipped me. She like turned me over, spanked my butt and said, you're mine. And I said, okay, agreed. 100% agreed. There were three songs I listened to obsessively, Obs like, like you own me, tattoo, tat these songs, you own me. The first one that I loved the most, it's my new favorite song, um, that when I was young, girls, boys. <sighs> Uh, I'm just going to say, yeah, the second one was Jaded, of course. And then the third one is Angels Can't, Go it, it's something with angels in the title. And I really loved it. Um, so uh, when I was young, number one, that angel song, number two, and Jaded. And Jaded, I actually really liked, but that, that actually took third place and all by my all by the Miley, all by the Miley. Yeah, shocked me too, but I, when the show is over, give it a listen. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the songs and this song has been coming at me for a hot minute and it's ding dong, ding a ding, ding ding dong. I don't even know the words to it. I couldn't tell you the words to it. I had to write I had to write it down because every time I've been hearing it for like three weeks and every time I do a show, I forget to say it. Ding dong, ding a ding, ding, ding dong, boom. Ding dong, ding a ding, ding, ding dong. I can't even, I don't even know who sings it. It's all I keep hearing though. Not the best thing to hear over and over again. The next song is um, that song again. Um, these are my people. This is my land. So if you know that song, you know it. If you don't look it up, the next song is, um, okay, 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 okay. Here we go with the songs. Now, before I get further into the songs, let me tell you, the song can be um, a song from uh, that a loved one used to love, a song that you used to, that you love, or songs you used to listen to together. You know they love this group. You love this group. It, you're going to know if you hear it. So I'm hearing Lawrence Welk. Even while I'm talking, they're like, Lawrence Welk, Lawrence Welk, Lawrence Welk, whoever that is. That is not my voice, child. That is not my voice. Just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, the next song is... um. We go together like shaman and a mom bloom without a bing bang. Okay, those are not the words. That's all. I, that's all I could get out. That's I couldn't even. I couldn't even. I couldn't. Oh, and the next song is um. Let's groove tonight. I don't know any other words to that. Well, now I don't know even those. They're just bringing um in. It's all right, all right, all right. I'm so sorry. That had to be the most disturbing thing you've heard unless you've heard a cat die. Or a cat in heat. 
that was disturbing. I apologize for all of that nonsense. Okay, next. Um, the next song is I, Hillbilly Rock. I can't even sing lyrics to it because they're just saying Hillbilly Rock. And if that's for you, if you know what that means, it's yours. Claim it. Snatch it. Snatch it by the bottom and put it in your pocket. That is yours, child. Hillbilly Rock. Um, the next thing, Billy Joel, Piano Man. The next thing I'm hearing is, uh, man, I love this woman, Marilyn Monroe. Speechless. Ah, it brings a tear. Marilyn Monroe. Okay. The next thing I'm hearing is... Um, uh, the next song. Okay, I'm ready for. They're telling me to take a breath. Whoo. Breathe it in, child. Breathe it in. <laughs> um, the next, the next song I'm hearing, they're just saying, um, they're not giving me a song. They're saying church gospels, and then I'm hearing hallelujah. Hallelujah. That one, and then there's another you say the na 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 na. Da na 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 na. What's it to ya? Da na 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 na. Oh, I think that might be Hallelujah. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, 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 somebody let me know. Is that it? Is that it, is that beat? That da na 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 na. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Um, and then somebody is saying, "Save a." Uh, that song that says to save a wreck. I can't say the word. I can't pronounce the word, but wrecked to save a something like me. But again, it's a church song. It's a church. <laughs> I did not go to church growing up. And mom, thank you. I love you for that. <laughs> um, because, of, because, and this is the reason why don't come at me for that. People who go to church, God bless you. And I am a God girl. I am a Jesus girl. But it, my all of my teachings came right through the funnel of dark roots. Right through the funnel of dark roots. <laughs> all of my teachings came straight in from angels and God. Um, to save a wreck like me, that's, I, I whatever that song is, that's, that that also okay now i'm gonna go to um the next part which is taking callers and answering questions in the youtube chat okay and here we go Boom. Mm -mm -mm. there was another song there was another song um okay so the next song they're singing it's a new song now remember this song can also answer a question for you and the the um the next song is um something I only talk to God when I need a favor. God, I need a favor. That's a, a, I only talk to God when I need a favor. I need a favor. Okay, that was really sad too. Um, I'm a hoot in the car by myself, by the way, when I'm listening to music. And it's really loud and nobody can like, no, I don't have a good singing voice. It's awesome. Um, and then um, the, there's a song that's, I, I, if, I, if the song comes back, no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to interrupt because it is such, it's a song that I heard all afternoon and then, and then now it's, I'm not hearing it. Okay, and it, it's there. It's like on the outskirts, but it's it's not right here. Okay, I am going to start with callers. Please, callers, have one exact question available um, about love, life, career, finances, or doink, 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 one loved one you'd like to connect with. Please give me their name and relationship to you. Let's not fish around and try to find the answers tonight. Just give it to me. Give it to me, baby. That funk, that hot, that juicy stuff. I don't know. Um, and right before I take the first caller, I just need to say this. 
this is the best time in a long time. So if you're a business owner or you would like to be a business owner, this is the best time in a long time to start or bring your business back to America. Reason being is we are going to need American made and produced products. Even if you have to start small, I have so much, such a comment I want to make. With all the people coming over the border, we're going to have plenty of employees. <laughs> spank me. Somebody needs to spank me and make me act right. Okay. And just saying what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is if you want to start a business, a manufacturing company, a whatever it is, even if you start small, it will grow quickly. Over the next six months is your opportunity to start a business or bring your business back to America and get it up and running. This is the time. I am telling you now, you have maybe a year, but within this next six months is the strongest time frame. And don't worry about how big it is. Even if you have to make one piece of furniture, one thing at a time, it will grow rapidly, okay? I do feel like the funding will be there. If you want to go to outside funding, now is the time. And don't worry about, I know everybody says tech, 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 tech. Right now, I'm telling you what everybody's been ignoring for a very long time is where we need to go. And that's manufacturing, that's corporation, um, manufacturing and um, uh, for lack of a better way to say it is to building things in America again, building things in America again, even if you can only build one component of something like one component of a vehicle or whatever it is, start it. Today, today's the day. Okay, um, okay. I'm gonna start with uh, eight six zero. What's your name okay. and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? <clears throat> hey, Amla. I'm good. Okay, so real Hello? quick. <coughs> whenever yeah. I say hi, where are you calling from? <coughs> okay. I take a quick drink. You okay? Um, I am. I take yeah, a quick yeah. drink of whatever I'm drinking, and I always think <coughs> I have more time, and today it went down the wrong pipe. That'll teach me. Amla, what's going on? What's your question? Oh, um, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I am interested, actually, in this. I'm just going to say his name is Jay, and we're going out for coffee on Friday. Um, do you think it's mutual, or is it just a friendship? <laughs> I'm sorry. Do I in think, action? <coughs> do do I think it's what or a friendship? Okay, sorry. Um, so I'm going out for coffee with um, this guy that I'm interested in. Do you think it might evolve into something else, or no? It's just move okay. on. There um, might be somebody else. So, Amla, um, here's what I'm gonna say, and this is not only for you; it's for everybody. Whether it's gonna be a friendship or more, there's things you can learn from this person or from your dating style and how you date. Dating is an interviewing process. It's not supposed to be, is this the person for the rest of my life? Does he want me? For women, oftentimes, especially women of a certain age, we go into dating and we think, does this person want me? Is The whole time we're like, Am I impressing him? Is he going to ask me out again? Yada, yada, yada. Instead, I want you to turn it into like, Amla, you have a business and your business is you. And on this date, I want you to understand that your purpose is to figure out if this guy is a good business partner for your business. So you, pre-dating, there are things that in your head, you're going to understand that you are looking for in a business partner or a relationship partner. And then you don't tell the person that, 
you might ask open-ended questions and let them answer that the same way you would if you were giving an interview to a potential employee of a business. Now, men know this. They've known yeah. this forever. They understand this process, and they categorize us pretty much after that first date. We're either the fun, bouncy house girl, or we are the uh, string them along um, breadcrumbing girl, or we are the girl. Okay, and men know this. We they sit down, yeah. they talk to us, and instantly they're like, "This is the girl that's that that is A, B, or C," and. We don't understand that, but now we do. And now we're going to be the ones to say, listen, is this the guy that potentially has the ability to care for me, to open heartedly love me, to be this, that, and the other thing? And you don't get that by telling them. You get that by asking right. open-ended questions. So that is part of the process that you're going through, Amla is to figure out okay. what, where does this guy fit? You know, how does he fit? And don't, okay. in in the coffee, the bit, the bit of coffee you're going to have, um, don't, um, <clears throat> don't, uh, 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 I just went blank, but it's coming back. <sighs> don't uh, worry about if he wants you. Who cares if he wants you? That's, that's no longer what this game is about. That's no longer what this process is about. What it's about now is, is this who I want? Is this who I can see being a good long-term partner? Now, I'm going to tell you, I have my no freaking ways. Like if, 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 if I'm talking to a guy and they do X, Y, or Z, they are X, Y, and Z, and they are because I don't care about being alone. I am so freaking good on my own. Like I don't, I, I'm, I'm solid on my. I've got my business. My business thrives when I'm good. When I'm on my own, my money yeah. thrives when I'm on my own. Everything in my life yeah. grows when I'm single. So if you're coming in, you better be fucking. Mon Oh, excuse the friend. You better be the best fertilizer to help me grow more. And if you are not, I can't, I can't have that in my life anymore. We're not going there. We're not doing that. So I'm on a date trying to eliminate a guy. <laughs> it takes a lot for a guy to get through a first date and get a second one. It takes a lot for a guy to get to that first date. But I have my, all of my, like, if the guy does a, like if, for example, um, I don't want to give any of my things. I'll just give this one away. If a guy's a smoker, yeah. I, I don't even want to go out on a date with him because I know I'm not going to tolerate exactly. that. I don't, I, I won't, yeah. I don't. Yeah. And not that smoking is bad. My mom smoked all of my life. I just, I, I saw what it did to my mom and I don't want to go through that again with someone. I, I don't want to. Exactly have that smell that whatever so if somebody's a smoker thank you no thank you but i have a whole list of things <laughs> that i and somebody might say yeah. but what if they're a millionaire so what there are other millionaires that don't smoke exactly i don't care yeah. i don't care yeah. if and yeah. if somebody needs yeah. here's another one of my things if somebody doesn't have self-control in the area of not drinking too much taking pain meds or smoking, they won't have self-control with their wee-wee. And I just, I'm not dealing with that. If you don't have self-control in every aspect of your life, keep it pushing, yeah. keep a walking. Yeah. Cause I'm yeah. not dealing with somebody who cannot control any aspect of their life at this point in our game. That's it. Because you know why? Yeah. Because we'd be good on our own. <laughs> we'd be good all alone. <laughs> So that's that's the way you have well, to go it's, into. It's this. interesting because I really, um, I'm really, I'm I'm ready in the sense because I weeded a lot of people out, including girlfriends. I won't uh, boundaries up. I, you, I've talked to you before, so it's just getting stronger and stronger. No, 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 not acceptable. Right. You know, so it's easy for me to do that. I am real. I'm kind of. Um, I'm not like 
giddy, but I, I am very I'm pleasantly surprised. I said, you know, I have to I have to depend on rides, blah blah blah. I need to um know what your time frame. And he said I have a couple of hours and I honestly was surprised by that. I just thought he was gonna be like, All right, an hour and I gotta go, you know. So I I'm glad that he's giving me a few like we have a couple of hours. I think that's good. I don't want to make it too long, but um he's 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 yes. offering that amount of time and that okay. That sounds positive to me. It just, just is a start, you know. Okay. Um, and I'm just, I'm very comfortable with talking and in, in the sense of listening as well, like asking questions is what you're telling me as well. So, yes. um, and I don't know. I mean, I met him last, last month. Go ahead. Here's, here's the thing, Amla, and I'm, I, I'm going to say this, um, know what you're looking for. Some people want to date. Okay. Then be with somebody who also wants to date. If you're looking are you looking for a long-term partner where you live separately? Are you looking for a husband? Now, if you're looking for a long-term partner where you live separately, there's nothing wrong with that. First of all, make sure the other person wants that. Second of all, um, make sure if that includes monogamy, make sure that includes whatever it includes. Now, if you're looking for a husband, make sure the person that you're talking to is husband material, but more important, make sure you're wife material and you're ready to be a wife because if you're not ready to be a wife, if you're not, and I don't, you know, I, wife doesn't necessarily mean getting that piece of paper from the state, okay? Wife uh, the role of the wife, it doesn't even have to be the traditional role, but make sure you're ready for that and make sure they're ready for that husband place. Because people who just came out of a long-term situation may not be ready for another long-term situation or a live-in situation. Those are the things you find out and you don't say, this is what I want. What do you want? Because they may just agree to agree in the moment, but saying like, instead of that, um, are you dating to meet people and friends? Are you dating for a long-term relationship? Are you wanting a live-in situation? How do you feel about marriage at this point? Um, those are all really good respectful question. You're not asking them if they're ready to marry you. You're just asking long-term, what are they looking for? Okay. I'm going to answer my first question on line, which I think comes from, oh gosh, I have to go back a little bit. Nancy. Hi, Tony. What kind of service or work do you see me doing here in Oklahoma city? Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Nancy, I, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but I immediately see something with animals and possibly even horses. Now, this doesn't mean you have to care for horses. It doesn't mean you have to care for, um, animals like at the Humane Society. It could mean that you set up an, a humanitarian thing where you t take children to ride horses. I don't know if that fits with what you're looking for. Um, or some kind of, I also hear animal therapy sort of thing. Um, whatever that means for you, um, I hope that that's helpful. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 111. 111, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, I have uh, Tony Green, Melissa from Colorado. Uh, I have a, a question for you, please. Okay, go ahead. Uh, thank you so much for being so honest. And I, I love when you think because I'm like, this lady is really about bringing happiness to us callers because we, we need this and, and I need it. And I'm happy to call them. I started singing myself. So thank you, Miss Tony Green. Um, I have a question for you, please. Um, so I have a dear friend and I was able to identify the female what the thing that she that she does it's more like uh uh her way of doing things it's like uh, you pay a service to, to uh, for escort excuse me uh they do whatever to do whatever uh to hear play whatever and you don't never recommend anybody i do not do that i'm just going about what the tv the media or the doc documentary what people do 
interviews and investigations, but um, I told him something because of her, be- of her behavior and things like that. Um, we always want to be cautious, like you were saying, beautiful Miss Tony Green, like you were saying, we want to... Like you were saying about what, like the last call. Okay, so sweetie, call sweetie, said, what's I, the I qu- sweetie, sweetie, what's the question? Sweetie, what's the question? What's your question, sweetie? I need, question. I need to know I'm your question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll be quiet. You're right. Is he, is he, is he checking that information out about that lady, the, the partner, the, the, the business, business? Yes. That's all. Yes. I'm sorry to talk a lot. No, it's it's I okay. Apologize. It's okay. It was just a lot of information. And sometimes it's better for me just to answer a question with just the question. Yes. Um, whatever you said, this person is checking it out. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you, Miss Tony Green. Love you very much. I oh, thank you so much. And I, I'm so grateful for your call. Um, and I know sometimes when people get on the call with me, I love that you call in and Sometimes if you give me too much information, I'm going, as you're giving me information, I'm tapping into that part of the story instead of just the direct question. Um, So it's always just better to just have that question ready and to uh, just give me the question straight out and the, the angels will do the rest from there. So I'm sorry if that seemed a little bit rude or like I was um, whatever, but, you know, let's just get to it and get to it. Um, I'm going to go next to Sal. You mentioned going to meet someone. Should I be doing something different or go somewhere unexpected? Yes, Sal, I instantly hear yes. I hear uh, going to new places will bring new people into your uh Um, you know, vision. And when you go to these new places, you're going to feel excited and have a new energy. And I do feel like you will Sal, where is Sal going to meet his next potential partner? Um, Relationship partner is in, um, I guess Sal, I can't even, um, I don't, it might be, I don't always recommend this, but it might be at a cafe or a dinner place, someplace where um, I keep hearing Moscow. I know it's not Moscow, the place, but I feel like maybe somebody's having a Moscow mule or originally they might be from there, but that's just what I'm hearing. Um but I do feel like it might be at like an outdoor or a a little restaurant, not like a, it's just some place where people go and they sit and they, they may often sit alone and have like a bit of food. And that's, Sal, that's where I feel like you're going to meet the next person. Okay, love? I'm going to go to the next caller who is 805. 805, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Tony Five. It's Donna in California. How are you? I'm good, Donna. How are you? Oh, I'm going through some rough times. Both my brother and my sister have cancer, so that's kind of heartbreaking. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Um, just found out about a week ago. Yeah, it's both. I know. Donna, your phone is complete. Donna, your phone is completely breaking up. Um, I think it's your phone. I hope it's not oh, blog talk. Um, and if you could just pull the phone to your mouth, that would be great. So what's going okay, on? Yeah. There. Okay. So uh, I need my fine to get better because I'd like to go help them you know, stay with them and do for them and whatever they want and maybe take them somewhere, you know, whatever, whatever I can do for them, you know, so I'm hoping for a windfall or something of luck or something so I can be of more assistance to them, you know. Okay, so Donna, I'm going to do a quick, um, a quick financial clearing, but I'm going to tell you that Monday's show at the beginning of the show, I did a huge a huge financial clearing, but um, 
We are receiving money. I get a oh. no. We are getting financial windfalls. I get a no. Let's clear both of this. Um, all the blocks in our mind and in our world have been cleared for this. I get a no. Let's heal, heal and clear that. Donna, I'm going to tell you that um, one of the things that would be the most helpful thing if they're open to it. Some people are not open to this, but one of the most helpful things that you can do for either and or both of them is recommend a few um, things that the, the doctors um, might not recommend. Um, so like soursop tea is very, very powerful or soursop supplements. Um, if they're open to taking them, if not, there's nothing you can do. And I just want to say it's, it's shocking. I'm being, I, how many people all of a sudden have cancer that is metastasized yeah. and going through the entire body uh -huh. and how, yeah, on the bones, the kidney, everything. Yeah, it and is. He would, go to, he would go have a an exam every year with his doctor, and nothing. Well, yeah, and I'll bet. Um, and I have to be very, very careful of what I say and how I say it. But do you know, in an interview, in a in in a couple of interviews, and I'm going to say that these are out there, and you can find these interviews. They were live in a TED talk okay. that. People, Bill Gates gave a TED talk and he literally said during his TED talk, if we do a good job with vaccines, we can take the population down by 15, a minimum of 15%. And then the, another interview he did, he said, well, we won't know the side effects of these vaccines for two to three years. Where are we, folks? Where oh are my we? Gosh. Where are we, folks? And yeah. I need to say, not every jab was the same exact jab. The jabs had different juice in it. Let's be very clear about that. The jabs mm -hmm. had different juice in it. So, and and I know people don't believe me when I say that. That's fine. But look around. Look around. Oh, I believe you. Look yeah. around, folks. Look around. Uh -huh. um, and for those who did this. Be, for work, for their family, for whatever reason, it is horrific and our hearts go out to you because everybody who did this, did this believing they were doing the right thing. And here we yeah, are. Yeah, they did it too. They did it too. Yeah. Yeah. And here we are. So Donna, I'm so sorry for what you're going through. I do feel like um, okay. You will get a little bit of resources to go and visit, but you, I don't believe you're going to, I mean, you can keep manifesting, but I don't know that you'll have enough resource to stay, nor will you want to. I think if you ended up oh. where they are, you would realize um, that uh, you, you, you're not going to be able to be the person you need to be for them, or it's going to just happen. Some things I don't want to say it's going to just happen so quickly that, you know, whatever, but I am going to say there's, there's a thing going on right now with, a, there's so much I want to say that I don't know. I'm just going to say some people, it's been my experience that what I'm hearing about so many people with the cancer right now, they're trying to do the chemo and the radiation and it's causing it to get worse. Yeah for all, for so many oh different reasons. Mm. So I would say if they are open to possibly doing, um, like I said, any natural remedy, apricot kernels, soursop, fembendazole, um, and um, a number of other things that were talked about, um, it would be very, it would be very effective and helpful. And I'm not a doctor. I'm not prescribing anything to anybody. Mm. I'm just saying based on right. what has happened and what I've seen and what I've heard, some people say that these things are very helpful. Okay, love. Oh, good. Okay. I Wonderful. hope, I hope that was helpful. That. Love. I hope that was helpful. Yes, thank you, Tony. Appreciate you it. are so, so welcome, Donna. 
Um, and I, I, we will all be saying prayers for your, um, for your family, for your, for your family. And I'm sorry that two family members are going through this at the exact same time. I am so, so sorry. Um, Rebecca wants to know, Tony question on Monday, you mentioned the name Luke, Rebecca and Rita. Is there a message from my grandmother, Rita or my mother, Raquel? Okay. Let's just, uh, yes, I hear. Yes. Uh, we love you. We want you to grow. We want you to be happy. We want you to let go of Okay, we want you to tra trade, I love this statement, your burdens for wings. So what they're showing me is like on your back, there's all these backpacks full of rocks. <laughs> they want you to just like slide the backpack off and let your wings come out and fly. So we're going to do that right now. We've let go of the past. I get a no, let's clear that. We've uh, let go of our burdens. I get a no, let's clear that. Um uh, we are flying forward. I get a yes. Let's let's strengthen that. Ooh. Okay. I hope that helps, Rebecca. And uh, and of course they want to say again. Um, you are you are I uh, you are shining and magnificent. Just uh. Okay, they're showing me this, so I'm going to try to explain it the best way I can. You are shining and magnificent, and it's not even that you're covered with like a something that's like if you wipe off the mirror, all of a sudden, all the dust on the mirror is gone, and you can see clearly who you are. So, like, allow yourself to see yourself for who you truly are. Okay, love, I love that. I love that. Um, I am going to go to the next color. You guys, did I do 415? I don't know if that's Donna or not. I think that's the person I just did, but maybe she hung up. Uh, la, 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 la. Four, 415. Is this Donna or is this somebody else? Hi, Tony. It's Kate. Hey, Kate. How can I help you? Wait, did I just talk to you? <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, Kate. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, Kate, go ahead. <laughs> How can I help you today? <laughs> I um I was gone back in my hometown for about a month and going through a lot of things and um a couple of my friends just kind of disappointed me. Like one of my oldest high school friends wouldn't just drive a couple hours to come up and see me and I I drove for days. I drove for two days. To get, and it's just kind of, not, it's not any huge drama. I'm just kind of, I don't know what's really going on with my with her. Okay, Kate. So the first thing I hear is you don't know what their situation is. So a yeah. lot, a lot of people right now, um, they're, they might not be in the situation or a place where they can do that for whatever reason. And, you know, how, how do I say this? Um, again, um, just don't have expectations of people. Don't think that something that's important to you at in this moment is important to other people. Um, remember, uh, people aren't always in a place emotionally, financially, or mentally, they don't have the strength or the whatever to, to be in that space that you want them to be in. What I'm, one of the, the bigger messages is just let it go and move on. If somebody can't make the trip, okay. don't have, don't take it personally. Um, but just move on say, okay, that maybe something not so pleasant would have come from this. I'm just going to take that in my win column as, you know, it would have been a crappy visit anyway. Okay. Got it. Could, would you do a, a friendship clearing, like new friends coming in? 
and letting go of, letting go of, like you said, not when things don't happen, our friendships move on, just letting it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that now. I'm going to say, um, we're, we are going to do, um, we are now, uh, all that is stopping or blocking our soul tribe and our new friends from coming in has been cleared, healed and released. I get a no, let's clear that, heal it and release it. Man, that gives me a lot of pressure around my head. Like gives me a headache. I can't imagine why my sarcasm's at an all-time high today, folks, an all-time freaking high. Oh, my gosh. It's at such a high today. Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, anything stopping or blocking us from being a good friend or having new um, really good friends and friendships, healthy friendships has cleared. Let's clear that. Okay. I am going to go to the next, um, the next, uh, Hey Maris, how are you? Uh, thank you Maris for being with me while you're on the road. Um, thank you, Heather. Mimi, so happy you're here with us. I love you, Mimi. Um, okay, I'm going to try to say this name. M-Z, misinformed in motion. Got it. Got it. I want to start a business that both my husband can do together. Me, I, My husband and I can do together because he is not working due to his disabilities. Do you see him prevailing in his disability case he was denied benefits okay that's like four questions so I'm gonna try to I usually let people whether they do it online or over the phone have one question and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to break this down I'm gonna first I'm gonna answer the disability he needs to get an attorney and the attorney will help him win his disability benefits along with all the past pay which is very important. The second question, start a business immediately, um, but don't put your husband's name on it. Make it your business because that will interfere with the benefits if that's the route you want to go. And that's where I'm going to have that be, um, baby girl. I'm going to go to 203. 203, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Michelle. I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? Hi. Um, well, after hearing the other woman, I kind of want to ask about my health issues, but I'll, I'll save that for a private session. Okay. But um, uh, so I, I, I don't have any irons in the fire right now, really. But I was wondering, uh, since I got laid off, where... Uh, you, you know, about my, the next job that might come up for me. Uh, it's coming up within a month. If you want it. Um, sometimes when people get laid off, they want to collect some benefits for a minute and take a breather. But I suggest you get right back out there and get on it. I also see there's a, a cash option. And to me, a ca cash option means working for doing something on the side for cash um or starting your own business there's that that is an an option now let me say i'm not telling anybody in the world to break the law however <laughs> however <laughs> <laughs> However, if you go across the border and come back and say you're illegal, you'll get a $5,000 debit card and $2,200 a month and be able to go to any state you oh, want to man. restart. Oh, so I'm not man. telling anybody to break the law. However, <laughs> no, seriously, though, all of that was joking. PDA. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, PSA. So what I want to say to you is um, if you want to start a business and you can collect benefits, this is the time to organize and do the soft start of your business. Um, 
And if you want to do a cash business, um, something that you can do and make cash on, um, this would be the time to start that. Um, otherwise, within a month, I see employment, uh, an employment opportunity for you. And I feel like that employment opportunity is going to be a really good, strong employment opportunity. And I don't know if this is for you or somebody else watching, but I'm getting that if you know what, if you know how to bake one thing or make one thing, whether it's a material, like a, a material item, a food item, whatever it is, you don't have to be able to bake everything perfectly. If you know how to do one thing, start selling it to family and friends yep. or friends of friends or whatever it is. There's a thing where I was in Colombia and one of my favorite thing, it, rem, um, rememberies, <laughs> memories about being in Colombia was this little guy walking down the street and the person I was with um, bought some food from this guy. I swear to God, God, that was the best thing that ever hit my mouth were these empanadas. And I'd never mm. had an empanada before, but his wife baked them and he just walked around with this like round, I think it was a round pan thing. I put that in my mouth and that's all I wanted. It's still all I want in my mouth is that. It was so mm. good. So if you know how to do one thing good, do it and get it out there to people. People will want it and buy it and pay for it. You don't need to make everything to make that thing. You can have one thing and that's it. Okay. Go ahead, love. What were you going to say? Mm -hmm. mm, well, the only other question I had was, I doubt if I'm going to make anything. <laughs> Because well, I'm trying to avoid food, <laughs> well, and that wouldn't be a good idea to start baking. But um, the the job I, I would assume is not where I have to relocate. Um, not if you don't want to. So here's what I'm gonna say. Um, and I wanna, I just wanna say, not if you don't want to relocate, you don't have to. Remember, we are creating our world as we go. So where we think and what we think is what we bring to us. There are so many remote opportunities available from if you go to YouTube, um, PayPal, to any of these LinkedIn, to any of these online things, they all need employees and they're 90% remote, okay? Um, and that means no matter where you live, you can do that job. Credit card companies and banks are all hiring remote employees. They don't care where they live. They will train them. I do feel like the employment opportunity that's coming to you is coming to you within a month. I want you, but you have to be actively looking. Somebody is not going to lock, knock on your door and say, hey, I've got a job for you. Unless maybe it's a pizza delivery company that says, we need delivery drivers. You want to be one? And the answer is a strong no. That's a solid no. And when I say um, uh, making something, it could, again, it doesn't have to be food. And when I say cash job, again, bartenders are cash job people. Waitresses at some restaurants are still cash job people. Um, so those th there's a lot of different cash jobs and business opportunities where you can get paid cash that are beautiful and perfect, okay? That would work amazingly for you, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next question. Um, um, Nancy says, I love animals and never looked at working with them. This opened my eyes. Nancy, Nancy asked if uh, her humanitarian thing, and yes, you are welcome, Nancy. I see some sort of an animal therapy can be like bringing elderly people or children to work with animals to help them, you know, have their animal therapy or doing therapy on animals. 100. Um, Kathy, thank you for being here. Uh, Kathy wants to know, is much more likely the result of stuff we were exposed to? to as kids cancer takes no not no kathy you're wrong um i'm gonna say in this particular case 
In some cases it does. In this case, no. No, absolutely not. Absolutely. It's like people who are having sudden adult uh, SADS, sudden adult death, and all these people who are having cardiac car cardomyop the, the heart thing and people athletes of 20 years old dropping on the field athletes dropping on the field you're you, please get, do some research before you make that statement Kathy I love you and I hope that you understand what um I'm saying here in this particular case that is not a fact Maybe in the past that was a fact. That is not a fact now. There is something else. When we have so much of it at once, no, no. I, I just, um, you can agree to disagree, but have you looked at the other side of research? And I, I would beg you to look at all the research of it. And that's okay. Uh, <laughs> you haven't. Don't tell me you have, because then you wouldn't be disagreeing with me. But that's okay. You're welcome to your opinion. Okay. And I am going to say I am here every Monday at noon central and every... Um, Every, um, I am here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. And if you want to call in, you can call in the numbers 845-277-9131. And uh, if you want to join me live on YouTube, you are very, very welcome to do that. Um, I am also going to let you know that these uh, last comments have totally thrown me by Kathy. Um, uh, Heather wants to know any messages for Brian. Thank you, Heather. I needed that. Yes, any message. He, it's all gonna. It's all gonna be. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Um, that's what I am hearing for. Brian, uh, every little thing is going to be all right. I love you too, Kathy. Absolutely, 100%. Um, love you too. Um, every little thing is going to be all right. Let Brian know every little thing is going to be all right. I feel like there may be one more procedure, but then after that, it's going to be smooth sailing. Um, and then I'm hearing the song for somebody. Um, this is not... This, 90 is, this is not in relation to Heather's question. It's a, it's a different thing. It's, um, and I'm free, free falling, free falling, and I'm free fall. I love that. Oh, God, do you know, you guys might think these are th songs, thongs, <laughs> they're not thongs, songs that I'm like, whatever. I'm going to tell you, I couldn't think of most of these thongs. Th Songs. <laughs> thong, 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 thong. Oh god. Um songs. If I try to, oh my goodness, what just happened to my little mouth? Um uh, oh yeah, um, Miss Informed just said thank you, my dad. Love that song. Well, there you go. That is your confirmation. He's with you. See you guys. Oh my god. God, I love when that happens. I just love it because that to me, like that song coming through right at the end and then her saying that that is like such a confirmation for her to know her dad is with her. And I just love this. Okay, you can join me Monday at noon. Thank you again, everybody.